huddle when you give away yards like this. They'll throw on first down. He's under pressure. And he catches it. He's brought down around the 20-yard line. They hooked up for a pretty good hit on that one. Nice pass. Yeah, good pass and good confidence by the quarterback there. He saw the opening. He knew there was a spot that he could get that in there. But you could see he had the confidence to let this receiver make a play. And that's really what pro football is all about. Manning will look to throw. Gets the throw off. And he makes the tall grab at the 40, at the 30, to the 10. They'll get in for the touchdown. They hooked up for a long touchdown. I don't care what you say. Anytime you see a big pass play like that, I think it's as pretty as anything that happens in sports anywhere. And the point after is good. Here's a quick look at the drive summary. Not a bad kick. More from the six. Drill at the 36 yard line. Once again, we'll take this opportunity to remind you that this game was brought to you with the fine folks at EA Sports. Roethlisberger comes to the line under center. Offense lines up in and out. He scrambles away. Rifles it to the right. Goes out of bounds at the 42. This guy is tough to tackle in the open field, isn't he? This tight end has a chance to be something special. He really does. He can block well at the point of attack. Runs great routes. But I love how soft his hands are for a big guy. The Steelers come out in the ace formation. Fakes to the back. Looking for a receiver. Guns it right. No connection there. He really just rifled that last pass. And it just goes to show that arm strength isn't everything. Accuracy and touch is something that is so important for a quarterback. Brockless Berger hands it left. He's tackled at the 31. No question about it, Willie Parker's best asset is his straight line speed. We saw it in the Super Bowl. You get this guy in the open field, and it is just about impossible for defense to try and catch up to him. A very much a big play threat in the NFL. He was caught with nowhere to go. This is a pretty good running back, and if you can hit him up like that, pretty impressive. Play fake. He threw off his back foot. He's brought down around the 25-yard line, a gain of six yards on the play. Good vision shown by the quarterback on that play to find the open man. You can see him looking around, then checking it down late for a nice pickup. Moore alone in the backfield. Play action. Looks for a man open. Crosses the line. Tackle around the 18-yard line. The third down run ends up being a decent game. And we've seen so many rule changes over the years to help the passing game, but not many to help the running game. So that's a little old school football right there. He's finally pushed out of bounds. It's going to be first and goal. That one worked pretty well. It sure did. And I wish all our fans could see what's happening down the field on all our television broadcasts. Because so much of the game now is one and lost in the secondary. And there's a celebration. I don't know exactly what you call it. He was sort of like chest bumping the wall, and it looked like the wall won. And the point after is good. And here's your drive summary for that last series. Nice kick. Plenty of distance. Makes a move and he's in. Touchdown. And he gave the crowd a little show after that one, Tom. Lining up for the point after. Up and good. The kick is away. From his own goal line. 
They finally are able to bring him down at the 42. So as the offense heads back onto the field, we'll take this time to remind you that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. If it's in the game, it's in the game. Beats it to the back. He's tackled at the 31. Four yard gain on the play. And that will bring up second down. Looks like three wideouts this time. Manning looking to throw. Goes through his read. He goes up high for the catch. He shows no hesitation and gets it in there to get the first down. Yeah, you wouldn't hesitate either if you were standing back there in the pocket. I say the heck with it. Get it out of there fast. Let somebody else handle it for a little while. Manning with the gift. Fights forward to about the 49. And the halfback carries for a pickup of three. Second and seven coming up here. Three wideouts here. Shockey takes off in motion. Drops back. Throws to his right. And they get him right around the 32-yard line. A good play to the tight end that time. And tight ends are so big that as coverage people, it's tough to figure out how to defend them. If you're on their left side, they throw it to the right side. If you're behind them, they throw it in front. Tight ends are tough to cover. And they'll run him again. Brought down at the 20-yard line. They need to come up with a better game plan to stop this guy. Yeah, you're not kidding. They can't keep giving up those big chunks of yardage like that. They do. It's going to be awfully tough to stop this offense. Looks to pass. Dumps it out left. They finally bring him down, and it's first and goal. Personal foul face pass. Defense. The defense can't keep getting up yards on penalties like this. Yeah, it's hard enough in the game today with the rule changes to help the offense to stop an offense anyway, but you can't give away yards. Passes to the end zone. Second down now following the incomplete pass. Three yards for the score now. Manning is under center. Two tight ends this time. And straight ahead we go with the fullback. Touchdown, it ain't over yet. And that was a very good touchdown run, Chris. Seems like they caught the defense totally off guard. Yeah, just about the time you think you haven't figured out that they're going to throw the football, they just power one in there and were overwhelming at the point of attack. Defense. Lining up for the point after. The snap. Set down, the kick is up, and we'll take a quick look at the drive summary. And here's the kick. He'll return it from the three. He's tackled at the 34-yard line. So, at the end of three, the score is 24-14. I'm thinking that you can put them away on this drive. You don't need to score if you're able to chew up the clock. Remember, they need two scores. Play action. Short throw to the right. And he's knocked out at the 39-yard line. Good pocket presence shown as the quarterback was able to get rid of it just before the pressure got to him. Just keeps the ball moving down the field. Six-yard gain and a uh, little progress. Roethlisberger is lined up under center. Two tight ends in the formation. He makes his way to about the 48. 
an amazing run. Well, if you want to know why all those coaches take stopwatches to the NFL Combine, you just saw it. You get a guy with that sort of athleticism, that sort of speed out there in the open field. Boy, is it fun to watch. Obvious passing situation here on second and long. The Steelers line up with Trips left. Bats looking to throw. Rolling right. He needs to get the pass off. Oh, and they got it. He just really showed off his speed and quickness on that. Playing defensive end is all about the get off. Can you anticipate the snap count? Turn the corner. Even if you don't get the sack, at least force that quarterback to step up so those big defensive tackles can get him. He tries to scramble. Bats can't escape the pressure. The Steelers are lining up to put it away. It's a pull that kicks it, and man, did he get a leg into this one. The quarters fields it at the 46. Tackle at the 35. Their previous two trips downfield were a success, and they take the field hosting for a third. Manning comes to the line, three wide formation. Looks to pass. He throws on the run. To the 10. He gets in for six. It looked like everything worked to perfection on that one, Chris. Well, this receiver may not be the fastest guy in the world, but he certainly knows how to work a defense. And you can tell this quarterback believes in him. He stayed with him, and they hit it beautifully for a touchdown. Point after is good. With less than four minutes to go in the fourth, the score of the Steelers 24, the Giants 21. Decent kick. It's fielded at the two. And he's drilled, what a hit. They were forced to punt on their last run. They're looking for you to run this one right out. I think now's the perfect time to try running it to the outside. On play action, rolls right. He throws it. Pass completed. Defense pushes him out of bounds around the 47-yard line. He got that one in there for the first down, didn't he? He really did. And when you watch a guy throw a ball that hard, they don't move their arm any faster. You see him driving off that back leg. That was a pretty fast. He's dropped. And that was a nice play to get in there for the sack. The key to playing defense is getting good penetration. If you can make that quarterback move around sometimes, even if you don't get to him like they did on that play, you can still disrupt an offense. Setting up play action. Looking for a receiver. Here's the throw. And he catches another. The defender gets him to the ground. Nice grab on the play, his second catch of the drive. Yeah, and I'm going to expect to see a lot more passes to this guy. He's a good receiver, he's talented, he can make the catch and get upfield. But more importantly right now, this defense is creating some opportunities for him to catch the ball. The offense has their big set on the field as they try to convert here on third down. And they're not going to get a great start. Got a couple, but will still be short of the market. Great play by the defense. You always hear coaches talking about whoever gets lower. Get your pad level lower than the offensive lineman. That time this defensive line did exactly that. Big play on that fourth down attempt. Well, that was a chance for the defense there to essentially get a turnover. All they had to do was make a stop, give the ball back to their offense, couldn't get it done. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback is in the gun. He's looking to throw. Passes. And it's tipped away. The defender got there in time to break that play up. He did. He was able to get his hands on the ball. But if he had missed that one, that one might have turned into a really big play. Setting up play action. Looks down the field. And it's completed. Nice little pickup on that pass pattern. And I really shouldn't feel this way, but I get a little nervous every time this guy goes up to make a catch, you know, because he's had a little bit of a history of dropping some balls. But today, doing a nice job hanging on and a big play there. Goes through his lane. 
two minutes left in the ball game. Once again, a perfect opportunity. Fourth down. Looks like they'll kick it away here. He punts it. Into the end zone for a touchdown. The offense gets the ball back and is quickly on all cylinders after scoring three straight touchdowns. The offense will take over at the 20. It's first and 10. New York goes with the ace set here. First down, looking to throw. Dumps it out right. He is dropped in the open field. Nice pass and catch on that play that gets him a lot closer. Yep, and that's really just the way they drew that one up. You take what the defense gives, looking to move the ball efficiently downfield with intermediate passes. Manning set to go to the air. And he caught it. And he dropped him in the open field. It's completed, but the defense appeared to be waiting for it. Not much there at all. That's part speed and part anticipation by this defensive unit. They're always in great position, and you'll rarely see them get burned on passes like that. Toomer was the intended receiver on the play, and it falls incomplete. Looks like they decided to go for it here. They come out with a big set. And the whistle will blow this one dead. Here's the call. Full start. He needs to pay a little better attention to what he's doing out there. I think those are just embarrassing. I, you go back to the huddle and you hang your head and you give it, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> Sometimes those linemen look like little kids when they come back after penalties. Back to pass. Looking for an open man. Pitch the inbounds, incomplete pass. If you can play mistake free from here on out, you should be able to walk away with this victory. Pittsburgh lines up in a double tight set. On play action. Makes the catch. He's dropped at the 19 yard line. And the defense just ain't that one up, Chris. Yeah, you're not going to pull this defense on plays like that very much. At least he got the ball out of there, though. Gets the tailback. Brought down at the 16 yard line. Four yards on that play. And so it will be third down. From the 16-yard line. Moore lines up as the deep back. High formation. Nice play fake. Throws it short. There for the catch. Into the end zone for a touchdown. What a big time score right there. Well, defensively, they just simply had to make a stand and they could not. It's good. And just over a minute to go in the fourth quarter. The score is the Steelers, 31, the Giants, 21. Kicks it off. Fielded at the 4. At the 30. Drill at the 35. What if you believe in miracles that this game is not over yet, but I'll be honest, I don't see any way that could pull this one out. Well, I always hate to say it's over with time still on the clock, but this one's over. If you want to, time to pad the stats a little bit now. A couple of cheap completions. Go and tell Bobby he had a great game. That was a nice catch. He went up leaving his body susceptible to the hit, but he came down with it and got a first down. And there you see just a little bit of how tremendous these athletes are in the NFL. The ability to go up above the defense and make a play like that, that was fun to watch. New York comes out with three receivers in a single back formation. Back to pass. Deep strike over the middle. Pass is complete. To the 10. And he scores. What a play. That pass just went for six points. What a play. And that's really all about timing right there. When you have a big touchdown pass like that, you know it's perfectly executed and thrown right on time. And that was well done. Kick is up. Point after is good. And now we'll take a quick look at the drive summary. 
the Steelers will take their first time out of the half. They will line up for the onside kick, and it's simply this. They don't recover. This game is over. They decide to go for the onside, but they can't recover. Well, that's really going to hurt their chances now, especially if they can take this good field position and turn it into points. You don't want to take any chances in this situation. Just take a knee and let the clock run out. As we finish this one up, here's a quick look at the key plays in the game. This concludes another game of Madden NFL 2009. From all of us here, thanks again for being part of this game.